have a three-wheeler walker, comes with a seat, holds up to 260 pounds, and it comes in a number of colors. It has eight inch a wheel. wheel. It could be adjusted to different heights, and it uh, you could check online for the details on it. It comes with a package list, an instruction guide that has five steps to tell you how to put it together. And we've laid out all the parts and we're ready to assemble. This is the main frame. It came in a nice shade of green. The wheels and the handlebars. We have attachment pieces of knobs. Step one would be to take the main frame with the rounded parts on top and extend it open as far as you can until you hear a snap and then lay it on Next the ground. Next step is to take the handlebars, we're going to place them in the slots, but you have to make sure that you put the wheels on the ground, keeping the cables on the outside like so, and then we take the handlebars and we put them in the slots. go. Step three is going to be temporarily to screw in the handlebar. So rotate the handlebar until you feel the slot. Insert it and then just screw it in until you feel it tighten. And you must repeat it for the other side. If you notice on the inside of the bar it has a number for the height. So it's easy, once you get the one side in, you just look for the number on the other side and you'll have the same height. Now we have to take the walker, turn it upside down because we're going to insert the wheels. If you take notice, the wheel has a marking left to left and we're going to insert it in the slot. Press the things in, let, let the wheel and press, press until it hits, and now it's in solid. We're going to repeat it now for the other side, and we're going to see that this one will say right for right. Now we're going to also put it in. It's a little, here we go, press the things, and it slides right in, no problem. This was very easy to put in wheels went in like a charm. Now we're going to install this third wheel. There's a screw, two holes here. We have to line it up and let's see if we can do this. This has to go in this way and it goes right through. Now we take the lever, insert it onto the screw and tighten it up. Now we're going to turn the walkmate over and we're going to check that all the parts are secure. We have an attachment for a cane. If you have a cane, you just snap it right on to either the left or the right side of the bar. Now this goes for the base of the cane. Put it on, snap it in here and slide it down. And now you have the base for your cane. This is how we put our cane in, put it on the bottom, snap it right in on top, and voila. Now we're going to secure the brake cables so that when you're walking and you're in a store or whatever, they don't grab onto anything that's uh, nearby. So we're taking this flap and we're just going to put the brake cable behind it and snap it right in. Okay, this, uh, this Walkmate has a bunch of pockets for your belongings. It has zippers that open up. Here we go. So in here you could put your packages, your purse, when you go shopping, and it's securely closed by zippers. If you have a pet, you can put your little doggy or cat in here, and they're secure, they can walk with you. And if you also notice on the side, there's a pouch. You can put uh, your phone, your uh, tissues, whatever you have that uh, you want handy. Now we're going to test out the walker. So I'm going to get up and I'm going to 
walk. And if I get tired along the way, I just hit the brakes, turn around when I feel I want to start walking again, turn around, and I'm on my way. This is a great walkmate. It's easy to use. It glides beautifully, smoothly. It grips the floor nice and smooth. It's sturdy. It's very comfortable to sit on, and it, it's got ample supply for your packages, and, and I think it's an asset for anybody who needs a walker. And there it goes. And now I could put it in the car. It weighs uh, 10 pounds, which is not too terrible. It's not that heavy, and it's easy to lift, and it will go right in my car.